sound in my head, which is a combination of the onde martino and the marxophone. So I invented the onde phone, which lends its name from those two instruments. And this is not working. This is not working the way I hoped it would. So in this video episode, we continue the trend from last week, where we follow a high-flying design vision meeting reality. Whereas the on the phone concept is a semi fail at the moment, this magnificent prototype built by Florian Yu from New Zealand is a magnificent success because this prototype did everything that a proper prototype should do. It pointed out the weaknesses in the design concept. So this video is a split video between the failed concept of the on the phone and the successful prototype. Let's jump right into it, shall we? Why? do we need something like the on the phone. On the Mar Machine X, all these instruments are programmed by the programming wheel. So the length of the patterns are pretty short. It's constrained to the programming wheel. By adding a melody instrument that I can improvise on, I can make much longer compositions, more dynamic music. So that's the main purpose of the on the phone. So my dream on the phone sound is a mix between the on the Martino and the Marxophone that sounds like this. Here. Now you're hearing some repeated sounds. That is happening because each key has a spring steel extension with a weight on the end that bounces. Let's listen to the Ond Martino. This is fun to look back at because this is taken from video 54 where I described the on the phone project and I think I described my vision pretty good so we're gonna listen in to what I said a year ago. There's also a mix of pedal steel guitar in there and there's also a mix of uh, theremin and modulin of course. This is the instrument I once called one stringed modulin. There's also a strange mix of CNC machine in there because I'm using linear rails with inspiration from my CNC. And there's a ball detent system that snaps the slider into the correct notes, almost like frets on a guitar, which will be a very useful help to get perfect pitch. Anyway, there's a lot going on with this instrument. It moves in a specific way and it's designed to be played one-handedly with a lot of expression. So it produces a portamento glissando, monophonic, sci-fi, space age, tremolo sound. <laughs> like a lonely prairie wolf angel in vacuum outside the Milky Way. <laughs> I was so young. <laughs> in heart and in spirit. This was before the time the Marble Machine X broke me. So to get a really nice microphone sound, we would have needed an acoustic body like on this Hackbrett. That string sound is really nice. Second problem, we don't have a good way to play single staccato notes. Like, I can use the hammer but that will make a tremolo and only a hammer on doesn't create enough volume. So we would have needed something that could do. Right there leads us to the third problem, sustain. I get curious to try to play with the e bow. That's a magnetic field that activates the string automatically. Listen to this, let me turn it on. <laughs> the e bow has two settings, the higher one. Ouch. <laughs> I've been having this prototype since last spring. I did not have the heart to show you and I was failing with everything else at the moment so I just didn't want to show it <laughs> at that point. And now after the Hyatt machine win I have mustered up the courage to actually show you where we are with the on the phone project. When I received the prototype I realized we were too far from the vision so I just stopped the project right there and then 
this had always a little bit the smell of feature creep. Frightening amount of feature creep, so it became feature creepy. Hence the spooky edition, okay? As much as I love this project, I took the responsible decision to just freeze it for the time being. And actually, if I need to play another instrument on top of the Marble Machine X, I can actually use a MIDI keyboard or some kind of Ond Martino, some kind of Modulin. Yes, it's boring, but it's also boring to never finish this project. <laughs> Even if my vision, the concept didn't go all the way this time on this prototype, the prototype in itself is a masterpiece. So there has been an on the phone team involved in helping me with this. And we have Tommaso from Canada, we have Carlos de Luthier from Spain and Florian from New Zealand who built the prototype. And this is where I wanna turn my attention now because this prototype is a masterpiece. So when I was unpacking this prototype, I was so impressed with what Florian did. He used the minimal amount of parts to create the maximum amount of function. So Florian, thanks for this stunning amount of skill that you poured into this project and over to you. Hi, I'm Florian. I'm uh, from Germany originally. I'm currently living in New Zealand. I'm a digital artist working in the movie industry and um, at night I turn into a DIY enthusiast and a wannabe garage engineer. In my spare time, I, I design models and, and some of them I, I put up in my in my online store. And one of them is this mechanical seven segment display, which for some reason became really popular recently. And I turned that into a YouTube counter. So it, it shows me how many subscribers my channel has currently. I'm a Wintergarten Wednesday fan and uh, at one day he posted the video where he was asking for help. So I, I didn't really care what what exactly he needed help with, I just wanted to be involved. And uh, yeah, well, it turned out to be the on the phone that I worked on. Martin actually had a cat design uh, to start with, which was uh, just the basic, the basic design. It was pretty good already. Originally, I was I was supposed to be to do some some extensive cat work first, but it turned out that you know the the more I thought about it, the more it was kind of important for me to to see how everything felt. So I got the idea to to build a prototype really early on before I, I spent hours and hours in CAD and then and then we figured out oh this doesn't work the way we think it would and, and so on so so I and it's it's a it's a pretty crude prototype but it gives you a really good idea of how things slide and how things feel and how you would start playing it. When when Martin talks about the on the phone I'm pretty sure he in his mind he thinks it's a failure kind of like it, it kind of didn't really work out but but in my mind it it really isn't. Um, because I, the way we built the Ondafone, like we had this first iteration of it, which was just the basic design. It worked really well. When we and then when when Martin started to to ask for, I, I want, he wanted to change this and that, and he wanted to have more strings on it and and all these things, and the neck needed to suddenly move left and right. I incorporated that into the prototype, but when I tried to play it, it became more and more difficult for me to get all the functions right. At some point it became really clear to me that to take this prototyping a step further it would have to be on Martin's end. You know, like Martin would have to have the thing in his hand, would have to play with it, would have to get the feedback of how, how he wanted to play the instrument. That's when I kind of I was done with the, with my prototyping part and that's when I felt hey let's send this to Martin and let's have him pick it up from there. So, Florian, do you think the machine will ever be finished? I'm pretty sure it will be finished. You know, there's like a million, there's like a million eyes looking at Martin to, who are eager to, to see him go on the world tour. Um, he, he has to finish it. Pretty sure, I like that answer. <laughs> I'm fairly confident that the machine will be finished. The, I mean, the MMX is 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 as much a, an instrument as it is a a piece of art, and and with with art, it's always like you can always it's never finished. You can always make it a little better. You only run out of time. Um, in the end, it will be finished eventually. Uh, we wanted the Ono to be a lead instrument, so we needed high notes. We decided to go from A3 to A5. 
These two are the most important variables designing a fretted instrument. With that, uh, you can use simple mathematics to place the frets. But the Ondo had no frets because we wanted it to have real slight sound, not little semitone steps. But at the same time, frets helps uh, to play in tune. That's when Chris came with this wonderful idea of using magnets instead of regular frets and Florian made the concept reality. The result is that you have the best of two worlds. Uh, a real slight sound where you can play everything in between the notes and the mag magnetic frets which guides the musician to play in tune. I hope that we keep developing the concept beyond the prototype we have now and make uh, a real new instrument that uh, Martin can play It's such a cool sound actually with the Ebo. Not how it was intended, but anyway, let's see. I can have a little track that I can play to. So, this is not how it's meant to sound. <laughs> I'm just having fun with it. A little less magnet strength for the vibrator. The second part of the Ebo takes a higher harmonics, like that, sounds like feedback. This video has barely scraped the surface of the heroic process done by the on the phone team. Tommaso, Carlos and Florian. I really want to thank the whole on the phone team for pulling this together. I love the 3D printed seven segment display Florian designed. You can download the project at Cult 3D or My Mini Factory. It's called Seven Segments. And I thought it was a little fun that he made a subscriber counter out of this. So head over and check out F. Hoable on YouTube. Maybe we can force Florian to build another digit for his subscriber counter. There is a potential future for the on the phone. We have some ideas for how to actually reach that vision. But for this moment, I want to be responsible and finish the things that are actually on the Marble Machine X itself and perhaps revisit the on the phone in the future. Thank you so much for watching and thanks to everyone who are supporting these videos and these projects. Have a wonderful day, everyone, and I'll see you on the next one.